New update. Yo, what's up guys? So as you know, we received today the new update which includes the Easter event. So let's get started. So first, once you get to World 4, you will automatically get some gems and this will be related to one of the achievements. As you can see in the Easter event tab or the new stuff tab, you will see that we have the new event which is the Easter event. We have also the new merit shop, the new achievement board, the new task board and some bug fixes. Make sure to check the whole video which I will be showing also how to unlock some of the achievements at the end of this video. So let's get started with the first one. So we have the new task board. You will have to complete one of the quests in order to actually unlock the task board. The quest is relatively easy. All that you need is some items which are dropped with current mobs in World 4. Once you have those just click on the character and you will unlock the task board. As you can see we have several tasks. We already automatically completed two of them. They are all related to World 4 you can just read what you need and use the requirements. I actually tested some of them out and they seem to become pretty difficult because you will need a lot of stuff to unlock them all. So let's check out the new merit shop. In the new merit shop you will see that there are some new decent upgrades. You will need to make a lot of tasks completed in order to start actually using these. I will start using the ones for the pixel and for the mainframe and also the respawn rate for world 4 monsters which will help us with the afk kills. There is also a new talent which is the spice spillage. I'm not sure how to unlock this yet but I will try and see how to get it. I'll let you guys know in a future video once I get to know how to unlock this one. So we have new achievements. As you can see several of the achievements are also connected to steam related so you'll need to be on steam in order to unlock these. There are several achievements which will give you different boosts for world 4 but also RNG items for your dungeons. At the end of this video I'll show you guys how to unlock some of them which I did recording this video. So we also got some new RNG items for the world 4. As you can see some of them have already been unlocked but some of them are still behind the unlockables. So I need to work on those. The ones that I have unlocked right now are the super soda which gives us basic attack regen mana and the three of a kind giving us for every RNG item that we have three or more we will get one extra. The remaining three are still locked, so I don't know yet what they do. The Easter event is the same as last year. You can start doing the quest from World 1. You will be required to get 5 egg capsules. So just go to the first part of World 1 and start killing some monsters. They will eventually drop these 5 capsules that you need. You have a maximum capacity of 50 capsules and the golden capsules also count. The capsules are basically the golden egg. Once you have done the first part, you will need to get a golden egg. This one is also random. So I suggest you to use the drops that you get from your quest and use them to spawn the monster. These have higher chances of dropping the golden eggs. When you have the golden egg, just deliver the quest and you're done for the day. Repeat this every day until you can. So let's start unlocking some of the tasks. So the first one is the damage within 5 seconds. The only requirement is to start one of the breeding battles and make as much damage as you can within the 5 seconds. It will be start scaling up from 200 until probably millions. In this clip I was able to make it until 80k damage for the first 5 seconds. The strategy I use is I put 2 cursed mobs and then one of the DPS mobs in the middle. This way the mob in the middle will get 1.5 damage from each side and you can do more damage than you normally would. The second part is the fire when cooking. So the best way to do this is just to take your smallest recipe or the shortest recipe that you have and make sure that you start making the new recipe. Once you pass the threshold shown on the test part, make sure you make the recipe. So try to do this every time and you will see that it will start increasing. I stopped the video at 6k but it will probably be way more. So Whenever you have time and you have higher cooking and recipe speed, make sure to unlock this as it will give you also points in order to use them in the merit shop. The lab and the recipe upgrade. So this is straightforward, just make sure that you unlock all your mobs, increase the level of all your recipes and try to connect as many dots as you can on your lab. The maximum that I have right now is 12. And that is basically free to play. If you want to get higher, you will need to start buying 
the other gems that you get inside the laboratory. So guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.